Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of radian and as well as the title of the video that why 90 degrees is written as pi by 2. So for that, let us consider this Cartesian plane and the circle of radius r. Here we can observe one angle alpha is subtended such that it is forming one arc of length L. Then what is radian? Radian is the SI unit for measurement of an angle and we defined it as the ratio of the length of the arc formed by this angle alpha to the radius of the circle. So in this case alpha can be written as L by R radian because it is the ratio it is the ratio of the length of the arc formed by this angle alpha to the radius of the circle. Thus we can write this alpha is equals to L by R radian. So this is what the concept of radian. Now for the next part if we consider a circle of radius R then this total angle becomes 360 degree. Now the length of the arc which formed by this total angle 360 degree will be equal to the circumference of the circle and if the radius of the circle is r unit then the circumference is 2 pi r units. Therefore from the definition of the radian we get 360 degree is equal to length of the arc which is 2 pi r to the radius of the circle r in this case. Thus 360 degree is equal to 2 pi r by r radians. So now we can write 360 degree is equal to 2 pi r by r radian. This can be rewritten as 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radians because r and r will be cancelled. Then from unitary method we can write 1 degree is equal to 2 pi by 360 and then this can be cancelled and further in simplified manner it can be written as 1 degree is equals to pi by 180 radians. Thus for any angle alpha applying the same unitary method we can write alpha degree is equal to pi by 180 into alpha radians. So from this definition this is important formula. We are going to use this formula to derive rest of the radians. For example for 90 degree 90 degree can be written as pi by 180 multiplies 90. Thus it comes pi by 2 radians. Similarly 180 degree can be written as pi by 180 into 180. Finally we get pi radians. Now 60 degree can be written as pi by 180 degree into 60 from the same formula we are getting and thus the final result is pi by 3 radians. Then 30 degree pi by 180 into 30 with a similar process pi by 6 radians. 45 degree we can get pi by 4 radians and 270 degree we can get 3 pi by 2 radians. Now let us take one random angle say 105 degree then 105 degree can be written as pi by 180 multiplies 105 and ultimately it can be written as 7 pi by 12 radians. That's all for this video. I hope everybody understood the concept of radian and one more thing to understand here that this radian is the real number form of any angle. That means here 105 degree is there. Now the real number form of this angle is 7 pi by 12 radians that we say in radians and in the beginning of the video also we have understood that it is the SI unit for the measurement of any angle. So thank you for watching.